hi my beautiful kings and queens welcome back to my channel as you guys know i am latroya griffin um before we get started i just want to thank you guys for all of the new subscribers i thank you for leaving encouraging words down in the comments for we all need encouragement sometimes so i just thank you so much for um just supporting me and just you know following my ministry so um you guys are highly appreciate it because i thank you so much i just always need some encouraging words i just always need something to keep me motivated so i thank you guys so much and i thank you for all the new subscribers um so today's video is kind of a touchy a touchy topic but um it's about our enemies we we all have enemies as you know it doesn't matter how much money is in your account it doesn't matter if you're rich poor black white hispanic latino whatever race you are we all have enemies we all have haters we all have people who just don't like us don't like us for no reason so yes today's topic is basically about our enemies and how our anointing brings jealousy yes your anointing the anointing that you have the anointing that god gifted you with it brings jealousy it draws negative people to you because you're anointed some people just hate for people to have gifts and talents and the anointing that we have god created us with this anointing it didn't just magically fall out the sky one day we were created with this anointing so it's going to bring jealousy for people that is of this world and people that just don't see a potential poten uh, potential in themselves so they take out their frustration and their insecurities and project it onto other people because they don't have anything going for themselves. So, so the Lord has been dealing with me about my enemies. And um, your anointing will bring back old enemies from your past. People who, who you haven't spoken to in years will appear from the dead. Yes, they will appear from the dead. They're not actually dead. But you haven't spoke to them in God knows how long. And because they see your anointing and, they, and because they see you walking in your purpose, they will come up from the dead, honey. And then just say the most craziest things about you. Things that was of, that's of your past. Things that you no longer even do. So your anointing will bring up enemies from the past. So be on the lookout if you are anointed and you know that you are anointed and you are walking in your purpose do not let them discourage you do not let your enemies discourage you people are always going to have something negative to say about you it doesn't matter matter who you are they had negative things to say about jesus they told jesus oh you're not the messiah you're not this you're not that you didn't heal the heal the blind you didn't raise the dead like the end people are always gonna have something to say there there has always been haters haters has been around for years honey so whatever you are going through don't let your enemies defeat you you continue to walk in your purpose okay this is coming from me to continue to walk in your purpose okay because your enemies are always going to be around so yes, you all, your anointing is going to bring jealousy. The Lord is saying, it's time for you to, to face your fears. Stop thinking of the negative outcomes. The Lord is saying, I have gifted you, my child, with a special anointing. And you are the only one in your family that can see this purpose through. There's a few people in your family that's going to be jealous of your anointing, but it is up to you to continue to push through and accomplish the mission that I have set before you. So the Lord is saying, yes, there's going to be jealous family members. There's going to be jealous friends, friends that are going to come about because of your anointing. But it's up to you to overlook that and push through and continue to be on the straight path of what God has set you to do. The Lord says, do not be naive when it comes to certain hatred spirits. If someone has shown you their true colors, believe them. That is the Lord saying to you, 
that they are fake. That is the Lord separating the real from the fake, you guys. So if the Lord has shown you time and time again that that person is not for you and you will no longer and they no longer serve a purpose in your life, it's time for you to remove them. Stop dragging people along that is not on the same journey as you and on the same path. Like so many, I've I've went I've been through this too. I've continued to just try to drag people along, thinking that they had the same mindset as me and that they were on the same spiritual path and journey as me, but they're not. They're still of this world, so I couldn't bring them along with me on the spiritual journey. For when I was, you know, doing what I used to do. Yeah, they were down to do that. But when I told them, you know, I'm on the spiritual path now, they were like, uh, no, I don't want any parts of that. So I have to cut them off. So stop drag, stop trying to drag people along with you that are not, that's not on the same spiritual journey as you. Like you can't force someone to serve the Lord. If they choose not to, then that's them. You can't drag them along with you. So the Lord says that, um, let them go like it's time to let them go it's time i know that you love that person i know that you care for them i know that you guys probably grew up together but it's just time for you to let them go you cannot let anyone hinder hinder your relationship with god if they are hindering you from being on your journey with the lord then it's either the lord or them and i choose the lord i don't know about you but i choose the lord so being anointed is a lonely journey, but always remember when you can't vent to anyone else, always know that your heavenly father is there to listen for the Lord is the greatest listener of them all. He will always be there to listen, no matter if it's 2 a.m., 2 p.m., 12 a.m., 12 p.m. The Lord is always there to listen. He always has a listening ear. So the Lord says, for when you are weary, look to the heavenly skies and I will give you your answer. Use your spirit of discernment. Use your spirit of discernment to test the waters of your relationships that you have with certain people. Do not let the smiling faces, do not, listen guys, do not let the smiling faces of the enemies distract you from your purpose. Let me say that again. Do not let the smiling faces of the enemy distract you from your purpose. There are people wanting to see you fall. There are people wanting to see your downfall. If that person has shown you time and time again that they are not trustworthy, believe them. Believe them. For the greatest people of them all are lonely. Every time Jesus performed a miracle lord my, my notes falling sorry every time jesus performed a miracle he asked the disciples to give him some time alone every time the lord performed a miracle he stepped off away from the crowd to speak to the lord so the lord could you know recharge him and just you know so he can have the alone time with god being alone is not a bad thing. Being alone gives you time to recharge. It gives you time to regenerate yourself. So if you're one of those people that just always have to, you know, just hang out with the crowd and try to fit in, at some point, you're going to have to just say, you know what? It's fine that I'm just by myself. It's fine for me to be alone sometimes. It's fine for me to just have, you know, time with the Lord and not just be around the crowd all the time. So the blessing that you receive from your anointing is worth the trouble. You being anointed is worth the trouble. Always take your problems to the Lord. Always use your spirit of discernment when it comes to any and everything. Even when it comes to certain people. If you feel as though this person has a certain vendetta against you or they are plotting against you take it to the lord i know anytime i feel something some negative vibes from someone i take it to the lord and let it not, it might not be that night but the lord always reveals that person's true colors to me in my dreams i don't know it might be different for for you but i'm saying for me personally for myself the lord always reveals that person's true character to me in my dreams so, so guys with that being said always know that your anointing is going to bring jealousy it's just natural that's how life is that's how life works 
So use your spirit of discernment when it comes to certain people and take your problems and your insecurities to your heavenly father. I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's raining now. But um, yes, you guys, I will be seeing you guys um, in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just leave some encouraging words down in the comments below. But I love you guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.